Okay, everybody, we are in Lambton Park. If you haven't been to the channel before, I do walks around Toronto and wherever I may be. And uh, today I'm in Lambton Park. I'm going to walk towards Dundas Street and head west on Dundas and possibly take a few pictures. Um, wow, this is a pretty interesting park. Took a look back. Yes, well, today was raining all day and I was busy. And I decided to come out here for a little uh, exercise, walk in Toronto. Uh, we're in Toronto, Canada, in North America. Toronto is the biggest city in Canada, so that's where we are. Uh, the Humber River is all the way to my uh, right. And I think there's a hockey arena here. I saw it on a map. He said there was a hockey arena. I guess it's over there. Wow, the sun's going down. It's actually a pretty neat spot for uh, sunset spotting. I didn't realize that, but uh, definitely a good spot for sunset spotting. Definitely have to make sure. It's very hard to get a good spot in Toronto to catch a sunset because the sun goes down kind of north northish of the city and uh wow it's so cool too these trees are pretty neat it's very northern are they jack pine trees i'm not sure they look like it the sun goes down in the north so and the lake is to the south so you get the you could get the building stuff in the foreground when you get a sunset. But, um, that's been. Dundas is about 100 meters in front of me. So we're not very far off the, let's do another look back to the sun. Whew, a little bit uh, hot, a little bit bright for the, for the camera, but, uh, but that's where we are. So let's go. We go down this way. Yeah, let's just randomly, randomly walk down. Yeah. Oh, that sun is really tempting. Beautiful. I'm just uh, not on a trail. Just zigzagging on the grass. Yeah, I just don't want to leave this park. <laughs> I don't want to get to Dundas, but my plan was to check out Dundas Street. Do a bit of an urban exploration in this area. And uh, I like to include some, well, I guess this is a, wow, that tree looks nice too. I'm a big fan of uh, trees with no leaves on them. I call them dead trees, but they're not, they're not really dead, but there you go. But I like them because I think they shape really nicely in camera. You know, uh, they look kind of cute. I like them. There you go, you can hear cars already. I like to start my this urban exploration, starting from a park somewhere, trying to get some, a little bit of a nature, because it's relaxing, right? Like walking in nature, by the water, it's always relaxing. And I'm um, trying to get out and relax, get exercise, and I hope people come with me and, you know, explore the city with me. Uh, if you can't watch the whole video, <laughs> you got to be in shape. And if you're not, you know, you get off, it's good too. And, uh, and I like to walk with people and talk. And so this kind of uh, helps me a lot. Having people watch it, I feel like I'm not alone anymore, you know. And it's fun to be with uh, like-minded people when you do stuff, right? And it's very hard to get people to come and walk every day with you and take pictures and it's very um oh, okay here we are at dundas it's always difficult to organize things with people let's just cross the street at a jaywalking position and go on the other side of the bridge and head west i like to see cars coming at me for uh safety reasons. Man, 
and not that matters much, but... Okay, I think I'm gonna turn the camera down a bit. There you go. And possibly change the direction a bit. Wow, it turned out like a nice day. I'm going to get you guys off my belt. Ready? We're gonna flip. And we're gonna have a look at the... That is Humber River. The sun's going down. Just wanted to catch that guy riding. Looking at the Humber River, that's like beautiful. It's not very crowded down there. There you go. It's kind of a drone shot. <laughs> See, we're doing a drone walking shot over the river. Doesn't it look like a drone shot? Cheap man's drone. kind of fun to have the camera on your hand because you can do this kind of stuff with it and go right over the I did a biking video through this park that I haven't posted yet I have a lot of videos that I haven't posted that may may not post but it was a pretty good ride actually I started right from here and uh, when I crossed the river and it was a good good time it was a good time you guys are going back to my uh, body cam heading past the bridge. Still look back on that. So this is a uh, Dundas Street, East West Street in Toronto. And we just passed the Humber River. It's like uh, my only pair of boots that I have currently. These are my second pair of these, actually my third one. I worn one of them completely out, so I got a new one, which these are, I've had them for almost uh, half a year. Comfortable winter boots. They're leather, so in the summer I also wear them. They're, uh, they're good, they're good. It's okay, this area is going to be condoed up. Oh, the house is going down too. Ooh. Let's go take a closer look. I didn't realize uh, that house was going down too. You guys lift up right over the fence. Oh yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. It's still got a house number on it. All right, you guys going back on, back on the body cam. Ready? There you go. Wow, that's kind of interesting how they took down. Look how dark it got already. that's what they're building up there looks pretty good looks pretty good that's a old plaza across the street let's open up the lighting a bit we're getting uh, sun's going down heavy I think I want to be on the other side of the street now, but that's okay. That's an interesting house, isn't it? I think it's like a 
business or a house? I don't know. I'm going to take a photo of it. So it looks like one shot. And I'm gonna do a couple of shots like this. <clears throat> Hold on. Keep track of what's going on in this neighborhood. Because that, uh, look at that dental place, so small. It's such a small, such a small place. Hold on, so let's see what this place is. That's a kind of interesting little, little house too. It's like a business. It's very old school. Nice. There was a carpet store here that caught fire a couple of years ago, I think. It was on the news. It was a pretty big fire. And uh, I think it was right there. That big gap. I think it's either was there or the two empty lots. So. And this was, I don't know what this was, a wood shop or heating or wall units. Oh yeah, woodworking place. I'm not sure if it's closed or open, but it looks kind of, looks like it's been. Okay, keep going. I think this ride would end pretty soon because uh, I think after the next uh, set of malls, I don't see anything else. I don't think the carpet store was here. I think it was the other one. It's, this one is uh, another empty lot here. And, uh, and we keep going. And we keep going. <sighs> Wow, 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 wow. So I kind of, I have my Gore-Tex jacket on and a base layer. I really don't need the Gore-Tex jacket, but I figured if it starts raining, uh, I want to be prepared. I don't want to just, if it starts getting a thunderstorm, because the, the phone app said there's going to be a rain all day and sun all day and like, you don't know. So I just wanted to be prepared. If it starts raining, I don't want to be starting putting my jacket out and so it feels really hot and damp. But at least we're ready to go. With I think we should I wanna go on the other side. I wanna go on the other side. When I turn my face to the right you hear me softly because the microphone is attached to my left shoulder. So I'm attached at every angle. Wow, that thing is going pretty fast. There's a unit in the back that's already built, I think last summer. Uh, looks new. And this is going fast. Okay, I think we're gonna go. Gonna cross this major intersection on red. Don't worry, I'm looking. There's absolutely no cars coming, so we're good. I'm not taking huge chances here, everybody. Okay. These are interesting. I like these. I like these kind of situations when you have a big condo going up and and a little uh, little. Uh, kind of mall thing. I guess they didn't sell, and now they're gonna be very valued because you're gonna have um, you know, all of these people around here that potentially can shop from these stores, right? So it's kind of, it's an apartment upstairs. It's nice. Yeah, if you don't sell your building to condo developers, you will get uh, it's 
go see what's behind there. Let's see if we can do this. Dry cleaners. This piece of, uh, it's fallen. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, there's a parking lot back here. Wow, that's, that's really interesting. You have a parking lot. And, and you have this. Well, very cool. Very cool. That could, that could work, yeah. Yeah, these the shops here are going to be pretty valued, pretty good. I think everybody notices that I got the cameras on and they always turn away from me if they want to be photographed, which is uh, very interesting. Uh, what I find with, with the body cam is uh, people are a lot friendlier to you. It's very odd. I, am, uh, I did a lot of street photography in uh, New York and Toronto, all sorts of places. And a lot of people see you with the camera taking pictures. They get uh, upset with you. And, uh, you know, the yell and scream and all sorts of stuff. And you, you should never get into an argument with them. You always, you know, if they don't want your pictures taken, I'm cool with it. If they want it deleted, I'm cool with it. You know, anybody, I'm not trying to put up, I'm not trying to make anybody's day miserable. You know, we're taking nice pictures. And, anyway, but I noticed with the body cam, most people don't say anything and they turn their, their face away if they don't want to be photographed. It's kind of actually helps a lot. Um, interesting finding I noticed I love construction sites I used to at one point look at this is cool to stop uh, at one point I used to photograph a lot of construction sites for work and when I started my career it's an ambulance station I don't know what that building is I guess some offices very 1970s and that building too I think uh, what used to be here, I don't remember, but I think at one point in the 80s, there used to be a, a shop called Lansing, which was like a little bit of a Home Depot action. Oh, those stores over there are pretty cool too. Jiffy Lube, when you need your cars, oil changed. Yeah, those stores over there are pretty neat. The hair salon is, looks very old. I always say hair salons look old when their pictures are um, faded blue. And that one is completely faded blue. Let me fire a shot into that mess over there. One that way, one for the record, and one this way. With nobody on the street, crazy. <laughs> All these photographs I take with nobody on the street are very interesting because at one point people are gonna look and they notice there's no there's no cars ever on the street. That, that that's a bicycle store and look at this, he's got all of those cartoons of bicycles. So he's he's fixed uh, like he's set up one, two, three, almost ten bikes today. So people are buying bicycles, he's got ten bikes, so uh, probably not today, probably the whole week, so maybe that's not good. Uh, I don't know where that garbage pickup is, so... Wow. Interesting. And then this is where I'm gonna end the ride into this little mall situation. And there's another bl block over there that's... Uh, I, I like the way this... I guess at one point, the whole street was those little... Let's get this... Ferrari looking car. It's not a Ferrari, it's a Porsche. I got it this time. <laughs> I love it. Last time I called the Mercedes Benz a Ferrari. It, kind of, it was one of those Mercedes red Benzes, and somebody in the comment section says, That's not a Ferrari. Thanks for fixing that up. I always mention that. But sometimes when you're taking a photograph, you don't pay attention to the detail of it. I pay attention to the overall feel of the thing. So if there's a sports car coming in, it could be anything like it just it's not about the car it's about the feeling of the so i don't really pay attention to let's go 
and a shot this way cool so we're at Royal York Road so we walked I guess from uh, Lambton Park uh, all the way to this uh, little mall a couple of hamburger places and, and Bruno's fast foods fine foods fine foods and that's it and then after that it gets to become highway style again you know you get I guess that's Royal York underneath there so I'm gonna end the ride here I don't want to get into too much uh, wilderness in the city you know not that kind of wilderness Anyway, thanks for this little short ride. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Out.